the members of the European Parliament, the esteemed guests, uh, the ladies and gentlemen. I'm delighted to welcome you all to this important meeting uh, focusing on newborn screening and familial hypercholesterolemia, later named FH pediatric screening. And I'm very pleased that it is an accompanying event of the current Slovenian European Council presidency. A disease is considered rare when it affects less than one person in 2000. Also, individual rare diseases are rare, their cumulative burden is substantial. In uh, 2018, Slovenia expanded its newborn screening program. Further development is now planned and in the near future, Slovenian newborns will be screened for over 40 congenital diseases. Despite rapid technology developments, newborn screening programs significantly differ between European countries. FH, on the contrary, is the most common genetic condition in the world. It has, however, a very rare and severe form. This genetic variation affecting one of 250 to 300 Europeans incre increases levels of harmful cholesterol in their blood to life treating levels. When undiagnosed and untreated, it uh, leads to cardiovascular diseases at any early age with premature heart attacks and death being a frequent outcome. Less than 10% of Europeans and 5% of children in Europe have been diagnosed. Hence, among many, it is mistakenly considered as a rare. This means also that available treatments do not reach the vast majority of people affected. Pediatric FH screening, or simply put routine cholesterol testing in children, is therefore a crucial to help affected people living with this genetic condition, which is inherited by children from their parents. As a health professional by background, I'm very proud that the FH screening program in Slovenia is seen as a model throughout Europe, a best practice that may be replicated in other countries. This is why we are here to explore today with uh, foremost experts, policymakers, and crucially, representatives of patients and citizens. And I want to underline that my country stands ready to help other countries developing their FH screening programs, which may be able to lean on our experience here. This is the essence of European collaboration, solidarity, and shared learning. To prevent growing disparities, a pan-European expert group needs to be established. It should bring together policymakers, medical experts, and patients organizations, and would advise member states on design and implementation of their early childhood screening programs. I would like to invite the European Commission to explore the options to support such an expert group. My hope is that the results of this technical meeting will help to ensure many more European patients and citizens being diagnosed earlier. This will assure their ability to live longer and significantly reduce the financial and human burden of FH and rare diseases. Importantly, FH pediatric screening may also become a model for other working in the wider cardiovascular disease community as we see increasing recognition of CBD as a major public health issue. I wish you an excellent working meeting today. Thank you.